A family in eastern St. Thomas was facing a bleak Christmas after losing their business to a fire. However, Member of Parliament Michelle Charles and members of the Jamaica Fire Brigade staged a timely intervention. Melvin Pennant tells us how in this report. Misfortune struck on Saturday, December 19 in Dumfries, St. Thomas, just days before Christmas. Nail technician Take Reed had left her salon to get some rest when she alerted to the disaster, fire. Yeah, I believe that Take is not born now. Burn out. In the aftermath, she had lost the salon space and adjoining space used as a cook shop, two motor vehicles, one belonging to her husband. However, all was not lost. New Member of Parliament Dr. Melissa Charles heard of her plight and on Christmas Day she paid a visit to the couple. Through her Me and Me Neighbor Foundation, she gave $300,000 to Take. Glory to God! I am grateful. I am standing here just giving God thanks. Give him all the praise, I tell you. This couldn't be possible without him, you know. All of this, I tell you. And um, I just want to thank um, our MP, Dr. Charles. And I want to thank um, me, and my neighbor me and my neighbor foundation. I want to thank everybody, the fire department, everybody, St. Thomas event. Everybody that is around and that is, you know, giving, oh my God, well wishers, um, donators, I am grateful, I am thankful. Our heart is full to be here on Christmas morning because this is what Christmas is really about. It's about finding people who deserve to have a gift and giving them what we can. And in this situation, we're really, really, we were really, really touched and we understand the devastation. So when me and my neighbor foundation, who this is their first year trying to make a Christmas wish come true, even it's though you didn't, you might have not known that you were wishing it and that, that God would whisper it in their ears, but that's how God worked though. Not true. According to the fire department, the fire cost an estimated $2.5 million in damages to the buildings and vehicles. Take says the cost is even higher. The St. Thomas Fire Department could not offer assistance with the blaze because its trucks were out of service. Public relations officer with the Jamaica Fire Brigade, Emilio Ibanks, gave a commitment to correct this. The Member of Parliament spoke about the push to have new fire stations. We are pushing for that as well. We'll be having some new trucks coming into the system next year and I guarantee you that St. Thomas will get another one. So these kind of situations will be lessened. So we, we really feel good for this morning. Take Reed said her clients have also been supportive as she contemplates getting back on her feet. Melvin Pennant, PBCJ News.